So I'm a middle-aged man. I live in the middle of the city. I live in the middle of the state, in the middle of the country. I, I, and that's really where I am politically, and I think most of us are. You know, we got 10% of our country that's on the far, far right, and we got 10% of the country on the far, far left, and that leaves the 80% of us, the masses, in the middle, just wishing the other 20% would just shut up so we can all get on with our lives. That's why I do a deal on Facebook called Living in the Middle. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I hope you have. But I, I try to take an issue that most of us in America that are dealing with, and some of it's controversial. Like I, the other day, I talked about whether or not we should give guns to teachers in schools. And I, I don't know if it's the right move or the wrong move. All I do know is it might stop some of the bull answers that we get for not turning in your homework in time. <laughs> Miss Leckler, the dog ate my homework. Are you sure about that, Timmy? <laughs> I know there's a long line of uh, blurred lines that we have now in the country. Uh, and, and, and ladies, answer me this. How come the only time you want a man to be a man anymore is when there's a loud noise outside? <laughs> Can't hold open the door anymore, not in this year, not, not these days. Hey, I don't know what you think you're doing there, mister, but that is a woman. I was ready to pull out a chair for a young lady. Try to do that at your job on Monday. You'll be in human resources on Tuesday. Yeah. I don't know what you think you're doing there, mister, but that is a woman. Loud noise outside. Every one of you ladies go see what that is. <laughs> no, you go outside. You're a woman. <laughs> this is me and my wife, Michelle, if there's ever a loud noise in the middle of the night. Me and my wife, Michelle, if there's ever a loud noise in the middle of the night. Did you hear that? I heard somebody go, Bill, 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 Bill. Bill. Well, there's a loud noise outside. So? So I'm scared. So don't go outside. Bill, I can't go to sleep unless I know what it was. Well, <laughs> get your shoes on and get out there. <laughs> I can sleep through it just fine. Bill, Michelle, shut up. <laughs> go to sleep, you're a grown woman. Close your eyes, the noise will go away. And my wife's mad at me because I said the two words, right? Lady, shut up. She finds it very disrespectful. She doesn't mind it disrespectful to wake me up from a slumber when I might have to work one or two hours next week. <laughs> hey, don't hate the player. <laughs> and I know my wife's mad because she'll turn over real fast, y'all. She'll take the cover of the sheet and the blank with her. And now I'm shivering in a thong. And I love my wife, I do more than life itself, but the only thing you don't want to allow my wife to do is allow her to go to sleep first, because she snores. And it's not a pretty woman snore, it's like a grown man in Shawshank Redemption snore. <laughs> but then it finally gets real quiet, and then I hear the noise. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. You feel? Well, go see what it was. <laughs> no. You go out there. You're the one with the green crap on your face and the curlers in your hair. You're a heck of a lot scarier than I am. I got poop in my pants. I've seen every scary movie. The guy that poops his pants first, he gets killed first. 
My wife is already in on me. Just get your baseball bat. People grab your baseball bat. People, I live in Texas and I am a proud gun owner, okay? Yeah. Do I ever grab my gun? No, because I know if I shoot somebody outside, I gotta drag them in the house while the cop gets there. And I don't know if you've ever tried to do that in a thong, but it's difficult. 